Hello everybody, welcome back to Brent's Life Art. My name is Brent and today we'll be doing a simple and easy drawing idea to help you fill in your sketchbook. Right, Let's family. get started. So glad you could join me today. We're gonna draw a beautiful picture today. I hope you guys will follow along because you add this to your sketchbook and you'll have a wonderful, beautiful page of art. Hope you're all doing well. So get your markers out. We're just starting with this beautiful light purple color today. We're just making kind of squares with just simple brush strokes. You guys see how we're doing that? Make sure you watch this all the way through, you guys, so you can see how, how we do this. There's a little, couple little techniques I think you guys would like to be able to see. And when you learn how to do this, you'll be able to add this drawing to your sketchbook. And one thing about it is, it's so relaxing just to sit and make these beautiful little squares. See how I'm doing it? Just one direction of coloring. Just a pretty color. Add another color here in a second. And really, this drawing doesn't take very long. That's what's amazing about it, you guys. You can get through a drawing like this really quick and have a page of your sketchbook done and make it really beautiful. Of course, you know, what's always good in sketchbooks are like flowers and objects that we live around. Finding inspiration for your sketchbook is is another thing. And sometimes thinking about what to draw is hard, so. I don't know about this drawing here. This was, this one that we're learning today is more inspired by, um, a lot of times I'll go on and watch gallery art shows. And I'll sometimes see something that I like. But this wasn't. This drawing here isn't exactly inspired by anything in nature this time, though often my artwork is. This was inspired by something maybe that I saw an artist, something that looked like, you know, something uh, abstract and I put my own take on it. Um, one artist that I really like to take inspiration from, which this kind of reminds me of his, um, this Stanley Whitney. You guys can look Stanley Whitney up. His art's beautiful. Beautiful colors. Beautiful patterns and colors. I love to draw patterns. I guess that's what we're talking here today. Is we're kind of drawing a pattern for your sketchbook. So we've got two different colors on here. The, the purple and then this color is called Wild Orchid. Kind of a pretty name for a color. So now the fun part here is... We get to draw lines across these squares. That's what makes these things look amazing. You don't want to draw completely through the squares. You just want to draw like halfway through. So we take our a blue marker over the purple. Okay, and then we're gonna just draw brush strokes down. Just three, three nice easy brush strokes. Sometimes it goes through, that's okay. You just go like this. See how pretty that looks? It just kind of gives it that quick um, layered look, I think, that makes it look nice. Yeah, of course, sometimes, now there is a part of this drawing that is inspired by nature, and uh, you guys know where I, where I find inspiration in nature is in the sum of its parts. So to me, art is the sum of its parts. I think I've talked about that before. So when you guys go out and you look at just a single, say there's a pine tree and you look look at just a single pine needle, it's pretty, and, but um, the uh, one pine needle by itself isn't, isn't always such a special thing, but when you see more than one, when you see a thousand pine needles, that becomes more magnificent. And that's why we have all these different blocks today. And you guys can see I accidentally colored over one of these uh, lighter blocks that was supposed to have been purple, but we'll forget about that. Little mistakes in art. You know, I think that's one thing you have to be careful of in art is trying not to be a perfectionist, trying not to overwork your art, just trying to let it flow. I made a mistake. I, I, I did a, the wrong color on that. What it's, I'll show you what it's supposed to be. 
me get my purple marker here. These uh, lighter pink ones, so these were supposed to be purple. These are the ones where you take purple and go across like this. So we have our blue over purple, and then we have purple over pink, or wild orchid in this case. And I hope you guys are following along, enjoying drawing with Brent's Life Art. So blessed to have you guys here. It's very hard to grow an art channel these days. There's so many incredible and talented artists, and for me to have 2,000 wonderful, almost 2,000 wonderful subscribers. But you know, just to let you guys know how tough it is I uh many days I'll look at my uh YouTube account and three or four people will unsubscribe and then I'll make a video where four more four more join our family and it's just a it's a roller coaster ride it's a balancing act and well we near 250 art videos and I may never see a dime from doing YouTube that's okay even though I've done so many videos and so much work, it's all about inspiring the younger generation of artists. And I've got to know a lot of you talented young artists, and that's what this is all about. So we've drawn our first, look what we've drawn. This is gonna be a beautiful thing in your sketchbook. I'm about to show you why, because we're gonna fill in this background. Watch what happens. So I hope you guys have followed along this, this far because this is where the fun starts. Okay, so we've got our beautiful little multi-layered blocks here. We're gonna add what I call, what I like to call uh, confetti. And uh, so let's let's do that. Let's go ahead and add this confetti to this drawing. So we'll start with a little orange. Now you could use any colors for this, but so you just start going around the blocks with your confetti. So the, you see how it works? This is gonna be a really cool drawing to add to your sketchbook. You could do pages of this, do like two two pages next to each other with different different op optional colors. I don't know about you guys, but I sure love to draw. I've been doing it since I was came out of the womb. <laughs> I bet some of you guys have too. You just can't get art out of your blood. It doesn't matter if you make any money or anything. And, you know, there's, there's some times in our life where the stress and the busy, busyness of this world takes us away from the drawing. And that's hard because yeah, we're, we have such a, a spiritual connection to creativity that it's, it's just a tough world to live in for artists because we have to have that creative release. And that's what this channel is all about. Inspiring you guys to keep, keep going drawing. So we now laid down some beautiful orange confetti. We're gonna try a little, um, this color is, is a, uh, it's a beautiful green color. It has a name, graphic green. We call it graphic green. So we're gonna lay down a little graphic green. In this case, you may wanna, um, instead of using like such a bright green, you may wanna go with a uh, more of an aqua, aqua where it's more bluish. I think maybe the bluish, Maybe that would look a little better, I don't know. But we are gonna add some uh, blue to this here in a minute. You can see how layered this is becoming and how awesome it is. That's why I wanted you guys to watch through the whole video so that you could see. See how beautiful that is? All these beautiful green and orange colors really match each other. So we're gonna add one more color I think I'm gonna lower the camera angle. We're gonna zoom in real close for this uh, thing. So let's, let's lower the camera angle and see. Yeah, you guys, I zoomed in a little bit on the camera so you can really see the drawing take shape. We got the camera really close right now. You can hear the marker going across the paper. The sound of art is a beautiful thing. So where I know we're just adding our last confetti color. This is called this is called infrared on my marker. This marker is kind of running out of ink, but we're making it work. I like to keep my dry markers because you get a dry brush effect. See how it works, you guys. I hope you guys can see this because the camera angle's in real close. 
we're gonna move the camera angle back out. I just wanted to bring that in for, for our last little bit of confetti that we're gonna throw on this thing. Let's do one more red over here in this corner. All right, look how beautiful those layers look, you guys. All right, we're gonna raise the camera back up. All right, we're putting on our final layer, you guys. We raise the camera back up. This layer is pretty nice. So you take this color, it's called Blue Bolt, and you just circle around. So let me get this thing here. So we just do little circles. And I think it's the blue that kind of makes them look pretty. Kind of complements all the drawing you've done up to this point. See how we do it? I hope you guys have followed along because we've added many layers and that's what makes this a sketchbook page. I'm just adding these circles and we're gonna color these circles in in a minute. Can, you know, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to guess. Guess what color we're gonna color these circles in. You guys think about that in your head. What color do you think I'm gonna color these circles in? So that's a thing in art, you know, if that's a video I wanna do. If you start off a drawing, you got this idea for a drawing and you don't take time to pick your colors, your, your drawing might look cool, but if you didn't pick the right colors, you, you may not be, you'll, you'll feel it. You'll be thinking, man, I wish I would have done this, or you know, it just, the drawing just doesn't look as good as what it could have in the end. So make sure you take a little time to research your colors before you begin a project, because that is a, always a nice, more rewarding thing to have something come out very nice and colorful that, and you you say, man, yeah, I, I, I did choose the right colors this time. And still in this drawing, I think there would be maybe a little bit of room for improvement with where I put, like I said, the green con confetti part, that green part. I think if that was more of like a bluish uh, green, but we're adding blue now, so. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned, as you guys know, <laughs> The uh, whole theme of my art channel is that we put a puzzle together on the floor when this this is done. Yep. There's uh, I have some other drawings of this off to the side, so we're gonna put a little puzzle together. We may just do a two-page puzzle today since we're doing a sketch. I might just do a little two-page puzzle here at the table for you guys. So, but there'll be two so you can see what two pages of this looks like. So if you had two pages done in your sketchbook, you can see it together. So we've just about got our circles done. I think I'm gonna lower the camera angle back. All right, you guys, here's that part of the guessing game. I asked you what color you thought I might color these blue circles in. Did anybody guess yellow? That's what we're gonna try to do today. So let's color a couple of these in. I have the camera up close so you guys can see. Um, I think the yellow uh, complements it pretty well. It is a pretty drawing. I hope that you guys would be inspired by this and see how we started off. We started off drawing those beautiful squares, purple and pink. Beautiful squares, purple and pink. And then we went to the confetti and layered that over the top of the drawing. And now we're coloring, and then we've added circles to the drawing, and now we're just sitting here coloring it all in. Sure is pretty. Art is such a peaceful thing, isn't it, you guys? It really gets rid of the stress of this world. You just sit and draw. Sometimes I don't know if this world was really meant for artists. You know, because we're so sensitive and we don't want, you know, we all, a lot of us don't uh, conform to the aggression of this world. It's such an aggressive, uh, violent world and we're such, most of the artists I've met are very sensitive, uh, kind and caring people. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes it just, it's very hard. I have a really cool story to tell you guys. One of these times, I don't know if this is still on the camera, I better keep, I'm trying to keep the drawing so you guys can see as we color these dots in. 
I'll probably back the camera out again here in a minute. I hope you guys are enjoying coming along with me today. So relaxing. Yeah, I, uh, the story that I have to tell, I'm not going to tell it here because I want to make a separate video because it's so such a profound thing that happened to me in my life. But I was uh, seriously outcasted for being an artist when I was younger to the point of being bullied pretty bad. And, uh, I, you know, it's, it's tough. I mean, so, so you want to have pink hair. Who cares, you know? I mean, I'm not saying that I had pink hair. I had long hair. I just had long hair, and I still have long hair. But Or if you want to have green hair, or you want to wear uh, uh, some kind of, a different kind of clothing, you know, it's like, so who cares? I just want to be able to express myself. But people, they see that as weird, and they get, sometimes they get different about it. But maybe not this as much this day and age. I hope not. But back in the... 80s and 90s and stuff, man, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't pleasant getting bullied for being an artist, so I have a story to tell about that, but guess what, we're not being bullied today, we're all here to support each other, and I hope you guys are all doing well with your art, art journey, I'd love to take a, a, a video, if I can figure out how to do it, where you guys could bring your art, send your art in to me and I can, we can do a art show and I can uh, react to your guys' paintings because I know, I know, I know some of you guys are amazingly talented. So I can't imagine what this next generation of artists is going to make with all the tools at their disposal. It's just amazing. All we had when I was growing up to, to be able to draw with was, uh, you know, you had your art supplies and you could use a projector. <laughs> So you, what you would do is you'd take your sketch and you'd draw it on like an acetate with a marker and then you'd sh put the acetate on a projector and you'd project your drawing onto the wall. And while your drawing was on the wall, then you could project that image onto a canvas. And so when that image is on the canvas, then you can use a pencil to trace the image onto the canvas and then paint it from there. Other than that, and maybe having some rulers and some things like that, but I don't know if you guys can hear my cat in the background. I swear he's learning. He is really learning how to talk. I, I, he is so close to speaking English. <laughs> Listen, I, I hope that his talking is just as entertaining as my drawing right now to you guys. And I'm just, I'm going gonna, gonna to let him continue to do it because he's getting closer to saying, you know, things like, I love you and which to ever hear a cat say, I love you would be nice because they're, uh, you know, they got it made. Let me back this camera angle out one more time and finish this drawing. Thanks for being here, Art Family. I really appreciate it. All right, we're gonna finish this drawing up, you guys. And uh, I got a couple more little circles here to color in and then we're gonna put this together probably with another drawing here at the table. We'll just put two together today so you guys can see what two pages will look like in your sketchbook. I hope you guys have enjoyed coloring along with me today and you feel creative and inspired. I appreciate this channel growing like it has been. I can't do it without you guys. There's so many kind and wonderful art, young artists supporting me. I really appreciate it. All right, well, we finished our drawing here at the table, you guys. We're going to put this together with another drawing so you guys can see what two pages will look like in your sketchbook. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, everybody, here's that beautiful drawing we just did at the table, our drawing idea for you to add to your sketchbooks. Let's put this down here next to the other drawing I had done so you can see what two pages in your sketchbook would look like. Isn't that amazing? Such a beautiful layered piece of color. Well, I hope you guys can take this and try this drawing to add to your sketchbooks and I hope you enjoy the peace and comfort of drawing something like this. I thank you guys for joining me and I hope this art inspires you and you feel creative. Get your art supplies out and make yourself something beautiful today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.